I'm still shocked. Like, I, I mean, I'm back to work, I feel great. But, you know, you forget about it for a few days and then someone or something jogs your memory and then you, you think back at it and it's still, uh, still overwhelmingly like, shocking to, like, that it happened. I still, you know, I feel fortunate that I'm here, even just talking today because of all the potential things that I guess could have resulted. When I woke up and came to um, having it discussed with the fellows like later on post, uh, post week and having discussed later on with um, some of the ski patrol and uh, the New York State Police, it was someone determined that I was probably on the kids hill. Uh, I must have made a wrong turn, but somehow that's where I was. I wasn't uh, in a high level mountain area or I was pretty well near the bottom of the hill. I didn't make it to the main lodge uh, because I think I, I, had, I headed towards the car, which is adjacent to the lodge. And then with my vehicle not there, um, it really got a little overwhelming. And, um, and I think that's when I'm assuming, you know, I hailed uh, or, you know, put my arm up or something like that just to hail a ride um, back into town. It was a truck. Okay. Um, like a transport? Like a transport. Okay. And um, I don't know if I said anything. I don't really recall having, uh, I'm just assuming that I hailed a ride and I'm not certain if I said anything, but I would assume that I must have said, you know, you can get a ride or something. The doctor says, you know, I think you had a severe head injury and uh, it was temporary and uh, everything's going to be normal for you moving forward. You know, after three days, four days, fifth day, I think there's a lot of despair, uh, a lot of stress on them in the sense that um, it did, just didn't look reasonable that I would be uh, found okay. Dad was here, dad was gone, and wow, dad's back. We can almost talk about anything now, in a sense that, um, I mean, I was close to them before, um, but even closer now.